Hey guys, we got an exciting update today. This is JD from DroneCamps.com. I'm here to show you the new DJI Ground Station Waypoints update. Uh, we're going to go through a few things real quick. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and get right in the air. Now that I've got my firmware updated on the helicopter and I've got my app updated on my iPad, I'm good to go. We just did a quick flight test just to see how it was going to work and see if it was going to come back like I said it would. And it looks like everything's good to go. So. Once you get your firmware updated on the helicopter from your uh, your Phantom Assistant app and your app updated, to get to the waypoints, all you have to do is swipe across the screen, and it's going to go in. And you want to make sure that you let it load your maps first. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in to where we're at next to the store. We have a nice open field out here, so I'm just going to go ahead and set a couple waypoints here here and here we're just gonna do a quick okay 78 feet and you can adjust these on the fly turn it up or down here just keep it kinda low 65 98 we'll go down to 54 and move this one over just a little bit you can click and drag just like on the other ground station so we'll do that 50 feet and our phantom is waiting for us to respond um, you also see up here this is the speed the the height restriction I believe could be wrong about that I'm just gonna fly in GPS mode uh, there's your Wi-Fi signal your battery and how many satellites we have connected this will show you relative you can change this, so relativity um, to you. If you turn the iPad, it'll also change the direction that you're facing relative to where you're going to fly from. Uh, and you'll see all the same, same settings. So if we wanted to record this, can we record this and go back to our, our uh, whoops. We don't want that to happen. Drag that back. Okay. Come back. Okay. So we'll we'll do four. Be careful that you don't hit and put another waypoint there. So the back button. A lot of people want to know whether they can record and do their waypoints at the same time. It's a valid question. We've been getting it. So yes, you can. Once you've set up your waypoints, we have the helicopter waiting. We've told it what altitude to be. We know there's no building there that we're going to hit, and our copter's ready. So once you have your set, your waypoint set, come down to say done. It shows you each waypoint altitude. Okay, I'm going to go back. I'm going to change this one down to about 50 something feet. Keep it kind of low. And we're going to change, see, home spot. Okay. I'm just going to drag these around a little bit. I don't want to go too close to the water. So, Okay, cool. Now we'll say done. And we'll press go. And the Phantom is going to take off. Now, if you if you you think that it's not going to do the correct flight pattern, if you think it's going to hit something or get out of the way of your flight zone, you can always come down to your transmitter and flick the S1 switch down to Addy, and then go back up to GPS, and it'll put you back in manual mode. So right now it's doing. position number one it should rotate and face position number two so if you guys want it to face a certain way if you're wondering how to get your phantom to face a certain way reposition your your uh, your waypoints to whatever it is you want so say I want to take a picture of a certain building or some kind of tree or something somewhere along the route I see something cool 
and I want to pause it, I can press pause and I can stop the route. So now you see that the phantom's paused. It's waiting for me to, to continue the route. So we'll go back to the app. We'll hit the play button again. And it'll resume the course. So it's coming around to point four, waypoint four, 38 feet, 34 feet, excuse me. It's going to come down and descend a little bit. It's up to about 50, it says altitude 50 feet. It should have been around 36, 34.8 feet. Okay. Now it's coming to the home point. Not quite in the right spot. Oh, it's coming back. Cool. So now it's going to hover over the home point. And you can switch it back into manual and land it, or you can go back to return to home. If you want to return to home, you can click this button right here, and it'll come back to home. Right now, I'm going to leave it hovering over the home point, and I'm going to land it manually, um, because we have some kind of high grass, and it's probably not going to land right on my little uh, ghetto landing pad. So I'm going to go ahead and switch back into manual mode, or back into GPS. So I'm going to flick once, and go back into GPS. So now it's going to wait for me to land it manually. So have fun with the new waypoint system, guys. Really fun, and it and it actually works. So have a good time. Thanks for watching.